right, so today I'm gonna be making flax gel. I used to use hair mousse in my hair all the time and I really loved how it turned out. But a few years ago, I decided to go chemical free with all of my hair and body products. And I have not found a good alternative until I started making flax gel. Flax gel isn't as great as mousse. It's not as perfect. It doesn't do an amazing super job, but I really like how my hair looks with it and it's natural and I can't complain about anything that I use to make it with. So we're gonna start with two and a half cups of water. I am not gonna use filtered water because this is just for my hair, not for drinking. So I'm just gonna use regular old tap water. I'm gonna put it in the pot and we're gonna start warming it up. Now I Turn that on and while it's heating up, I'm gonna add my whole flax seeds, not ground. So I'm adding a quarter cup of whole flax seeds into that. The reason you don't wanna use ground is we're gonna strain those seeds out afterwards and that would be nearly impossible if you use ground flax. So we're gonna use whole flax. This is a little bit fuller on my pot than I was expecting it to be. I usually only make a half or a quarter batch. So it's not so full, but today I'm gonna to make a full batch and I'm going to try freezing it and see how it does that way. I'm gonna freeze it in small portions so that as I run out and I can pull out another batch. This is only good in the fridge for about somewhere between one and two weeks and it's not, it doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it's gonna go bad. Sometimes I understand I'm making up wrong and ends in life it never pays in the end but still I am here moving on like before I'm yearning to reach the shore all right so this has been simmering now for about seven minutes a little more than seven minutes I'm going to turn it off and it's actually just going to sit there and cool down for 45 minutes so if you look closely, you can see that liquid is starting to gel a little bit. It's not quite as thin as water anymore. It's quite a bit more gelatinous and as it cools, it's going to it's going to gel up even more. So let it sit. Don't need to stir it during this process at all. We'll go back in 45 minutes and we'll strain all of the flax seeds out of it. Okay, so the gel is thickened up quite a bit now. So all I'm gonna do at this point is pour in to a sieve or a mesh strainer. And I try to get all, all the little bits on the edge because that's the most jelly part of it. So I'm just gonna press on the seeds a little bit just to get all of the liquid that's surrounding them and gelled up around the seeds out. The flax gel is all strained and I'm gonna show you now how I use it. Typically you wanna use it when you get right out of the shower and if you're using it in a morning when you don't shower, you're gonna want wet hair. So I just wipe my hair down right now and I'm gonna use this foamy stuff on top because it's the easiest to use, but it's not all foamy. So as I get through that, then I have to use the other stuff. I'm just gonna put it in just like you do gel, just all over my hair. The other thing I don't like flax gel as much for is that my hair doesn't look great while it's drying. When I used mousse, it looked great as soon as I put it in, but with this, um, I need to wait till it dries and then after it's dried fully, then I need to kind of scrunch it to get rid of the crunchy look. Um, I'm not a fan of the wet crunchy look. So once it's fully dry and I can kind of scrunch it a bit, then my hair is really great. So on days when I shower right before I leave, Aja put up with not great hair for a little while while I'm out. So we're just taking the kids to the park, brought their skateboard that got cleaned out of the storage bay yesterday that they found that they haven't had in forever. So there's a big concrete basketball court they can ride those at and a nice walking path. And hopefully we'll find some good edible weeds today to pick. I brought a bucket so that I can collect some, which we haven't got to do a lot of lately. There's not as many weeds here in Louisiana readily available. I've seen a few more lately compared to the summer, but the park, last time we were at this park, they had a ton. So hopefully there's still lots and I can get a good bucket full.
kids are all skateboarding and playing basketball. We're just having fun, we're just hanging out. I think that mom and the other kids are out looking for weeds right now. So I might try to find them and get a shot of them picking weeds for you guys. What you guys finding? We found a dandelion. That is surprising. There's hardly any dandelion. And the Can you show us what you found, buddy? Yeah. What's that, Mama? Wow, what is all that? Do you know what those are? Um, chives. Or cooking. Chickweed. Chickweed and... And dandelions. Look at that. And the dandelions. And yeah. the dandelions. Yep, that's the one. In Canada, we had tons of dandelion. Dandelion everywhere. You could live off dandelion in Canada. There's that many. But down here in Louisiana, they're actually really rare. I'm not sure why, but we hardly ever find one. So that's why Bethany was super excited that she found a dandelion here. What we find a lot of here is clover. There's tons of clover, which is pretty much everywhere I've ever been. But they also have a lot of wood sorrel, which is what Jesse is picking right now. They look Getting close to us, eh? They look similar to clover, but instead of an oval leaf, they have three heart-shaped leaves have a lemony taste. Oh my gosh, look what I found. It's an onion. Oh, I want to go to the bathroom. Oh, me too. Okay, these ones. Oh. Chickweed. So this one's handmade. And then there's some chickweed here. See this one? This is chickweed. Here you go. Okay. Good. I'm not gonna let go of you. Wow. Wow. Mom, look at Mom, look at Oh no, there's the end. I can jump. Do you wanna jump off? It might hurt. Here, jump into my arms. Ready? And Wow! <laughs> I got you! family so that we can go check out all the cool stores but we haven't had time to check out because all the little kids are always lying down to go to the bathroom. Girls day, girls day. Seven seats. I've shared the stage with all the best lot of good it did for me. I've walked the wall of China, walked till my feet were sore. What does it look like inside? A prodigy! Is it good? Where the potatoes are. 
Good. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe and like. <laughs>